Okay, everybody, this is going to be a short video on the new HP Split X2. I made another one, but it didn't turn out as well. So this is the HP Split X2. Um, this is the this is not the base model. The base model from HP runs around seven hundred forty nine dollars. Um, so you're looking at seven fifty basically plus taxes and shipping, of course. Um, this model here is a custom build. What I put on there was a Windows eight. 64-bit um, um, iOS, which it comes with, but it comes with uh, just the, the basic, and so it does not have the Pro Edition, so I did have to buy the Pro Pack for $100. Uh, the next thing I did was add the third generation Intel Core i5 uh, processor, as you can see with the sticker here. And it, uh, that is only running at like 1.5 gigahertz, but uh, and of course it has an Intel built-in uh, accelerated graphics on there. Um, I'll show you how. It's very speedy. It runs very, very good. Uh, I added the 8 gig DDR3 uh, memory slot to this machine. So it runs, it just runs like a beast. And what also helps is having that, I think I put a 128 SSD hard drive. We'll look at it in just a second. Of course, there's no optical drives that come with this. You can add that on if you want. Um, we already had one here, so I was able to use whatever I needed to do with it. And of course, you have USBs on um, on either side. I don't know how many there are. I think there's so we've got one there. We have an SD card here. We have um, and two, oh no, one USB. So two USBs and an HDMI cable on the side. Uh, the standard wireless technology that comes, and then of course the standard wireless technology that comes with it, which is 802.11 B, G, and N, uh, has a Bluetooth already, uh, 45 watt AC power supply into it. And by the way, this does have a um, the this this is a hybrid, so it has a tablet and a laptop um, system. And so with this kind of system, it has a two battery two batteries. So one with the tablet, when it's in tablet mode, it runs off of itself. We have the base, which adds another, what, six hours to the battery, overall battery life. Um, I think they're both three cell lithium ion batteries, as well as um, I, the re uh, recommended battery life is up to 10 hours and 30 minutes. It has that one USB uh, super speed 3.0 so that's kind of cool. And then of course you have your card reader as I showed you earlier. Um, the display is actually quite nice. This is why I got it. It was for the doctors and we put, uh, it, come, it came with a nice size screen. It's a 13.3 inch screen and uh, it's ultra slim as you can tell with the size. Sorry, you can, it is a fingerprint magnet as you can see there. Its weight is about four to five pounds but to me that's, I think that's what it says for this. The base is rather heavy. I mean, it, it, that kind of is cumbersome, so, but it is nice. You eject the slate by holding this. Well, not holding this, but moving it over, and then you pull. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Apparently, I cannot. I'll pause it. And voila, there it is. It's, it's by itself the tablet. Okay. Doing things one-handed is kind of bad. All right, so 3.3 inch screen. It's a touch display. Has it? It's optimized. Trust me, I'll show you in a little bit. Um, it has the box cloud storage, uh, 50 gig lifetime when you sign up. It's pretty cool actually. So you have some um, uh, cloud storage space. It has the Beats audio, as you can see right there. And um, as I said, this only came with the basic standard edition of Windows 8. So you do, if you need it for an office environment like I am using it for, I would suggest doing the upgrade to the Pro Pack. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, there's tons of accessories, but I won't get into that. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Now how you turn it on is a little bit different than usual, or than what you used to expect. You got your, you got your plus and minus for your speakers, which are here. And on the bottom, you have your power button, which is right here. So, actually, I was surprised. I thought maybe people would accidentally turn on the computer, but they did not. It, or turn it on and turn it off, but it didn't. It didn't affect it. And as you can see, it's very fast, very responsive. And 
we'll go ahead and go back to um, yeah, I'm going to show you how responsive this is. So, how responsive this is. So this is this is the computer itself. We're all familiar with Windows 8. I did have to install uh, Microsoft Office. So this is Office, but it, uh, the trial version only. So they did not come with a year subscription like one of the other HPs that we got here did. So that was unfortunate. So I did have to install uh, 2007. So let's go ahead and go to the desktop. Sorry, I didn't click it. That wasn't my bad. Bad example. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to use this thing. I mean, it's very interactive, very, very efficient as far as its, um, its touch capabilities. I love this. It's probably one of my favorite touchscreen computers that just works. Um, so we see that this computer here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it is a 120. I've already used about half. And then the 15 gigs for the recovery, of course. You got your SkyDrive. Why don't you sign up for that stuff? Um, yeah, it's a great little computer. I highly recommend it. So far, I've heard nothing but great reviews from every user that has used it in this office this environment. The keyboard itself is uh, spaced very well. So it's really easy to touch to type on and it's very just very interactive. I love the overall feel of this machine. Um, and it's just it's just it just works, you know. It's one of those products that you're like, okay, well I really like this, you know. And so we'll just open up uh, this, you know, same things. There's like no lag time, you know, and I want to close out something, I just hit the X and it closes. You know, um, double click and you're there. Right? You hold down the the computer button. So hold it and and then properties. You know, you can see what I was looking at last time. Great product. Hope that the HP continues to make things like this. I truly love it. Um, I can't add anything else to this thing. Um, so here is just another video for the HP Split X2, one of the newer products. This is Matthew Lavis with Vitek. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, um, or if you want any more information or looking out for more reviews, please keep posted. I do have a few more that I was going to show. We have different tablets, different um, laptops, and convertible uh, systems that I wanted to show. So uh, just let me know what you would like me to review. Leave a comment. Thanks.